Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another installment of uh, my tutorial. Uh, this time around I'm going to show you how to um, connect uh, your uh, that, you, that you've created, that I've shown you how to create in, uh, in one of the previous videos. Um, so basically you, when, you, when you're on your homepage on the Amazon AWS homepage, you go to uh, AWS uh, Management Console. That's going to allow for you to uh, basically uh, log into your account. You will uh, enter your credentials again. Um, this is uh, exactly uh, the information that you uh, that you that you were able to uh, create earlier. Um, just uh, if you can watch my, one one of my earlier tutorial on how to uh, create an account on uh, Amazon Web Services and uh, you go to the, when you, then when you log in you go into the EC2 um, uh, um, login um, and then um, <coughs> I have a very bad uh, connection so it takes a time it takes a while before the page loads um, and then when you get to, uh, after you've clicked on a uh, EC2 link, uh, you go to your, uh, to your left, you scroll down as I, as I just did, and you go to keepers. And again, what a keeper is, uh, so you have, um, you have two pairs. You have a, you have a public uh, keeper and you have a private keeper. The public keeper is the one that you keep on your desktop and the private keeper is what is the one that. Uh, the instance has internally. So what you do is uh, you you click on uh, my sample keeper. And then click on yes. So you have the keeper. And basically, you save this one on your desktop. Um, I'm gonna save it. Um, I do not need to open it. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. Um, now that I've saved it, so what you do now is you have to uh, basically go to you have to go to your um, go to uh, a uh, go to Putty. I hope you've already installed Putty, but uh, if you haven't, I'm gonna upload a video on how to install Putty. Uh, later on you go to putty and then once you get inside of putty um actually not putty but uh you have to go to run putty gen so again when you go to the um when you go to uh the putty icon right click it and then you'll be able to access the putty gen and then so uh, when you open uh, putty gen you go to conversions you go to import key And let me see if I do have it. I do not have it. Uh, give me one second. Uh, let me make sure I do have that download. Sample keep here. Okay. Uh, I have it. And let me go to my downloads. And the file should be accessible in your downloads. Um, sample keeper. There you go. So what you do is you uh again it's in your download. Uh you can you can for me I like to per personally put it on my desktop. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna move it to my desktop and then I'm gonna go back to uh, uh putty uh putty gen. Uh, 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 uh yeah putty gen and then go to conversion, go to import key, and I'm going to go to desktop. If I can find, if you can't find it, what did I do? I called it sample. Sample keeper, there you go. Sample keeper. So I have it. Um, what I, what you do here is you have to um, you have to save a uh, private key. Uh, so you go ahead and save it. Um, 
Are you sure you want to save this key without a purpose uh, uh, to protect it? Uh, click on yes. I mean, it's up to you. You can click on no, but then you would have to remember the passwords uh, for the file, for the, uh, the key the key pair file. So uh, basically, you can um, you can name the file whatever you want, um, and then also place it in any directory on your on your desktop. I'm gonna name my private file private file. File sample, and then I'm gonna save it again. Remember, I'm saving on my desktop. And so, what you do now is since you already have that file, you now go to Putty, you click, you right click on Putty, you open Putty, and basically, here this is where you're able to uh, use that private key file that you that you uh, that you just created. So what you do is, you go to uh, with Putty. What you have to do is you have to create a uh, a connection. What a connection is, you you need to have the the host name for the instance that you created, and the host name is basically um it's basically the um what is like basically the IP address for the instance that you that that's on your that's on your uh one of your instances. So if you go back to Amazon to your Amazon console. You go to instances, uh, okay, and then what you have to do is you you uh so if you if you click on an instance, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you a pub a public DNS. So what you do is you take that pub you take that public DNS, you copy it, right click. You copy it. I'm I'm using Control C to copy mine. Uh, copy it, and then go to Putty configuration. Uh, so what you have to do is, if you want to, okay. So what you do is you would create, you would put in that host name, uh, create a uh, a new connection. Uh, let's say server three. That's what I'm gonna call mine. Um, and then what I'll do is I will I will save it as a third one. So basically. You have uh, this. Uh, you have the host name connecting to the, thir the, um, the the third connection, and then so basically what you would do is you would then uh, basically go. Um, there are only a few places where you have you, where you have to uh, make some changes in uh, um, in this window. Um, one of them is in um, is in uh, uh, I think it's. Let me see. It's here. It's in off. Off is right is into is under the um the SSH um tree. Uh, you go to browse to find a key, private key. Pair. Remember the, the private key is the one that we save on our desktop. Uh, after we had uh, uh after we had uh, used Putty to create it. Uh, so basically, um, you find that file, private key sample. You click on that. Um. And pretty much, there is no nothing else you have to put in, uh, as far as like uh, any type of uh, any detail. So you can actually, I'm actually just going through and making sure that there's nothing else that I'm missing. Um, and also he, here, you can actually on in this window, you can change the um, you can change the uh, the, uh, the, the the default the, the settings as far as. Uh, as far as like what you can do with the mouse, you know, uh, if you, what you can do to copy and paste, and um, to copy and paste, uh, for me, I, I just have it. They, there you go. When you go into selection, uh, for me, I just have the the middle extend and the right, to, the right to paste. Meaning that I can copy with the left mouse, with the left uh, click, uh, the left um, click on the mouse, and, and and paste it with the uh, with the with the with the with the right one. Uh, then I then you go back to to session after you're done. Um, remember you've been working on this one, so you save it, and then what you do is you open it. So and then to, when you get to this to this point, this is where basically you just have to. Um, it's, I'm gonna upload a different video to uh, take you through how to basically um, log in as a user and what to do next, uh, and then basically the different step different steps uh, that you have to follow in order to install um, the OCO, uh, the OCO software onto your instance. And also just a quick reminder, um, 
the file that you would that you be able to uh, that would be created from your um, from your uh, from from uh, uh, Amazon the key pair file is going to be a uh, let me show you that file real quick it's going to be a let me make sure simple that file will be a that PEM file oh we just keep that in mind that will be a that PEM file that's the file that you use to create the uh, private key uh, to, 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 uh, to, to uh, use party to create a private key uh, and also the public key. Remember, I told you it's, it's going to be. It's already. It's within your. Um, within your own. Within your own party service. So uh, uh, pretty much, this is uh, basically how you create um, keepers on. Uh, you know, as, uh, in, uh, when you are getting ready to uh, 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 install your Oracle software. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.